Hey there, welcome back. Next month, you can learn the benefits of journaling at the Lucy Craft Lane Museum. Cheryl Corbin is here just to share more with us. Thanks. It's great to see you again. Likewise, thank you for having me back. No problem. So let's get right to it. Tuesday Journaling Club. Tuesday Journaling Club. I started an online journaling group during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and it has grown to 30,000 members wow. worldwide. I know, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking, I'm doing all of this weekly, monthly with this online group. Why not do it locally? Right. So I've partnered with the Laney Museum mm -hmm. uh, to bring the Tuesday Journaling Club. It is the first Tuesday of the month okay. uh, at 5.30 at the museum. Mm -hmm. There is a small fee of $10, but that is that goes back to the museum. Of course, yeah. But we want to introduce... Um, uh, the self-care process mm -hmm. and I think most people at some point in their lives have been given a journal yeah. and you look at them and you're like what do I do with this mm -hmm. so with the Tuesday journaling club you'll be able to come in and learn techniques and each month we have a theme okay. and a color mm -hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because you know we love to get dressed up absolutely yeah. and our, our, our color for uh, September is orange okay. so if you join us please wear your orange and mm -hmm. come on out and let's have some fun and this is going to be about gratitude. It's going to be all about gratitude. We're yeah. doing a whole month of gratitude journaling. So how did you go about picking the different themes that you're going to have for each month? When you're journaling, there are so many ways to journal. There are Bible journaling, morning dumps, uh, um, organization journaling, um, and we just pick a, a theme each month to teach the different techniques. Mm -hmm. And I think with 30 days being in September, it would be great to do 30 days of uh, of gratitude. Yeah. And then October, we're looking at organization where we're doing bullet journaling. Mm -hmm. And then November is all about mindfulness. Is there a certain way that you need to journal? Is it a fixed way that you need to journal? There's no fixed way to journal. It's mm -hmm. really according to what's going on in your life and how you want to take a moment to check in with yourself, mm -hmm. to take that five minutes or 10 minutes a day to sit down, to go over your scriptures, mm -hmm. to meditate, to think about what your plans are for the day, and to be intentional as you're moving forward in your life. And this is something I've been doing the beginning of the year. I was told to journal for 100 days, so I usually okay. use bullet points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of interesting to see where I've been at the beginning of the year up until this point. Exactly. Yeah. And, and what we're looking forward to teaching and implementing is that it doesn't take a lot of time to journal that really you're just checking in with yourself and you're seeing your progress as to the things that you want to get done. Okay, do you need any um, type of materials when you come to the club? For this first meeting, I'm going to provide all the materials. Oh, look at you. So That's I want nice everybody to start out on the same sheet of music with yeah. the same journal. Mm -hmm. And when we come back in October, we can share our progress. Because now you get a chance to put down the phone yeah. and actually have a conversation. Put down the phone. Put down the phone, have a conversation <laughs> yeah. in person, mm -hmm. make friends, okay. actually sit down at a table with somebody and actually have dialogue yeah. versus... Doing well, this. Let me ask you a question. Um, okay. Do you have to write in the journal or can you use like the notepad option on your iPhone? Because that's journaling too, right? It is journaling. That's yeah. digital journaling. Yes, and there are so many ways to, that you can journal and check in with yourself. Mm -hmm. But sometimes having that moment to actually put pen to paper, yeah. there's this calming effect that it has on you. And you're practicing mindfulness by actually taking the time to commit an idea to paper. Okay, cool. So um, what do you hope folks will get from this journaling club? I'm hoping that they remember what it's like to get together with your friends once mm -hmm. a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you remember what that was like yeah, to just go hang out, mm -hmm. uh, to talk about nothing in general and everything in particular, uh, and to be able to create mm -hmm. because we forget how therapeutic creating can be. Good deal. And you said ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Okay. And if folks want to sign up, go to Eventbrite, maybe. They can go to Eventbrite, or they can connect with the museum, okay. and they can pay in person if they want to wait to Tuesday and come. Okay. Good deal. Well, what's after this for you? After this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're, you're putting this journaling class on. Okay. Do you have any other things in the pipeline? Any other projects? I have so many projects but this I really want to get it off the ground this year okay. and make sure that we have this community uh, to to work with as okay. well but I am uh, you will be able to find me at the Arts in the Heart okay. uh, we will be in the Miller Theater for the Literary Lounge and so you can find me there as well okay, okay. sounds good to me I at least if I can have that full screen please 
there you go. So it's first Tuesday Journaling Club. Yes. It's going to be September 3rd, October 1st, November 5th, 5.30 to 7 over at the Lucy Craft Lane Museum of Black History. Yes. If you want to sign up, you can go to Eventbrite or you can holler at them at the museum and it's 10 bucks.